So traditional recruitment is broken, completely broken. Meet Sarah. Sarah is a tech recruiter. She spent countless hours sifting through resumes, uh, trying to find the needle in the haystack. No luck. And then our dear friend Chad GPT came around and all of a sudden the number of CVs that came to her desk every day increased from hundreds to thousands. It has now become totally unmanageable. Uh, this is costing her company, her employer, a fortune because they cannot find the right people on the right time. The, the recruitment cost has quadrupled. Then Sarah found Round 1 AI. Now, Round 1 AI conducts the first round of interview or the initial assessments completely autonomously by asking contextual questions for the skill and for the job that they are looking for. Now, Sarah has the insights based on the actual evaluation that which are the top 10 candidates she can now go and speak to uh, and engage meaningfully without wasting her time. We are currently raising 500,000 in pre-seed funding to help more recruiters like Sarah streamline the recruitment process. Thank you. Um, there's a big pushback around AI in the recruitment and obviously the hallucinations, diversity, inclusion, and, and making sure you're getting something that's actually genuine human interaction. Yeah. What, what are you guys doing to circumvent the ethical implications of just using AI to sift through CVs instead of... So we're not going to sift through CVs. We're going to allow the candidates to answer questions and we're, we're making sure that it's, it remains bias-free by not passing over some of the information that could influence bias. Do you change the answers before they're sent back? No, no, no. We don't change any answers or anything, but we make sure that the AI remains... AI doesn't get any information that can eventually influence the bias. For example, the name or the location or any other thing. And we don't even look at the CV, first of all. So that I'm, I'm really sorry for that. Uh, we are currently only in the UK, uh, but we have initial contacts in the US and some other EU-based uh, uh, companies as well. But right now we are focused on the UK. Once we have some substantial user base, we prove the product, then we'll scale to the markets as well. But uh, as such, technically there is nothing that blocks us from doing that. So currently, uh, in the very primitive stage, it's, it's a chat-based, and very soon in a couple of days there will be an audio um, interview and candidates can choose any language they want to answer their questions into. Uh, we have launched video but we have pulled it back because the user experience such is such that uh, candidates don't feel comfortable talking to a webcam knowing that there is no one else on the other side. So we are making sure the user experience is right until we go with the video. So right now it's chat and audio um, interview. And I just want to pick up on audio. Are you saying that that's full conversational AI multi-language? Not full conversational. On the AI side, we'll still stay with the chat. Eventually, we'll go with the audio, full uh, audio conversational. But right now, still a chat format, but just like on WhatsApp, you can, you know, uh, type your message by talking. Similarly, you can use mic um, to answer the questions. So this is screening at an interview stage. Who does the screening at? application CV stage? We are kind of skipping the entire CV stage, but a lot of recruiters, they still have their CV stage in their ATS systems. So they add round one as a stage next to their inbox. Okay. So, so, some of they, would, so they would still deal with the screening. You would go straight to the interview. So initially they do that, but as soon as they realize round one is capable enough to do their job, they basically let everyone go through round one first. So now, instead of you know uh, sorting from 200 CVs to 50 to yeah. 10, they let everyone go through round one, and then round one gives them the insights of who are the top candidates, so that they can then talk to those people. So we kind of oh, okay. So so it is it is doing a CV screen. We don't do CV screen. <laughs> Recruiters can continue to do their CV screen, yeah. which they still do. But as soon as they feel the confidence in round one, they completely bypass the stage that we've seen. Uh, but then the round one would only do the interview. Yes. So at the minute, for example, there's a thousand applicants per job. Yeah. Would they put all those thousand through round one? So that, that's, there, are two, two, there are two types of users right now. The one who have already used round one feel confident, they put round one as the first stage. 
in their ATS system. Uh, those who are new to round one, they still use their ATS system that eventually uses the CV screening and rank the candidates. And they put some of them to the round one. Okay. Yeah. Our, our goal is to basically completely get rid of the CV. Sorry, it sounds, seems a little bit ridiculous, but uh, I don't think CV is a reliable document mm. anymore. 